Fora TV. The world is thinking. In Canada today, 750,000 Canadians are on a waiting list for a procedure. That's out of a total population of 32 million. So there are fewer people in Canada than there are here in the state of California. 17% or 5 million out of the 32 million in Canada are on a waiting list just to get a primary care doctor. So when you hear the President and different members of Congress saying, we need to encourage more people to go into primary care, people in Canada, docs don't stay in primary care because they're at the bottom of the totem pole, they're union members, their salaries are negotiated by the medical association with the provincial government and primary care docs are paid the least. So most young med students then do a specialty so that they can make more money. The average wait in Canada today from seeing a primary care doctor to getting treatment by a specialist is 17.3 weeks. That's over four months. Canada ranks 14th out of 25 OECD countries in MRI machines per capita and 19th out of 26 countries in CT scanners. 30,000 Canadians every year leave Canada and come to the United States and pay for procedures out of pocket because they don't want to be on a waiting list. I'll just tell you a quick story about my mom who passed away in December 2005. In June 2005, my mother called and said, I think I have colon cancer. And I said, well, you better go to the doctor and, and get a colonoscopy. So she went to the doctor and he said, well, you don't have colon cancer, um, so um, that's fine. She, so she went home. And I said, well, did you get a colonoscopy? She said, well, no. He checked my stomach and said everything was fine. And I said, well, you need a colonoscopy. And so she called back and she was a senior. I was challenged on this, was my mother a senior? Well, if you look at me, my mother had to be a senior. Um, so she was told that because of her age, she couldn't get a colonoscopy. Well, she had an x-ray, but that doesn't reveal colon cancer. In Nove late November 2005, my mother had lost 30 pounds and she was hemorrhaging. So I called the doctor and she said, well, you'll have to get your mother to the hospital in an ambulance because if you take her, you'll never get into the emergency room. And my mom spent two days in the emergency room, two days in the transit lounge, in transit, waiting to get a bed in a ward. I'd only seen the transit lounge at Heathrow Airport waiting to fly from London to Paris. Well, my mother did get her colonoscopy and she passed away two weeks later from um, uh, metastasized colon cancer. But this is what happens when government sets budgets and the older people are the people who are hurt first. But politicians in Canada don't wait. Belinda Stronach, former member of parliament, first a conservative and then became a liberal, she opposed opening up the Canadi Canadian healthcare system to any private alternatives. And yet when she was diagnosed with breast cancer, what did Belinda Stronach do? She came to UCLA, had her breast cancer surgery, and paid for it out of pocket. It was all right for her because she could afford it, but it's not all right for Canadians to have opportunity to get good medical care. As my friend in Vancouver, Dr. Brian Day, who is an orthopedic surgeon, former uh, president of the Canadian Medical Association, told the New York Times, Canada is a country where a family can get a hip replacement for their dog in under a week but a family member has to wait two to three years.